Come on, I just want to check out. Why? Because he told you to. Stop making this about him. Just talk to me. We raced in a lot of the same races growing up, and one of us would always have a better race than the other. So in the car, on the way home, one of us would be happy, and the other would be completely miserable. There was no middle ground. It was like it was impossible for us both to be happy at the same time. And it's kind of been the same ever since. Look, it's my job to talk to the drivers, Kelly. Yeah, and who gave you that job? Why are you being like this? It's not even me you're angry with. Maybe it is. Oh, really? This again? We were kids, Kelly. You left me behind. <sighs> Come on, what was I supposed to say? Oh, oh, thanks, Dad, for, for, for continuing to invest in my career, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to decline, just in case I hurt poor Kelly's feet. Of course not. And what? It didn't have to be a choice, Dev. He had the money to fund both of our careers. I just... Uh, I wanted you to... fight for me. He never listened to me. He always listened to you. Well, we were young. Yeah. But we're adults now. Yeah. Well, if it's any consolation, I'm not much competition anymore. <laughs> you never were. I'm sorry, Kelly. For everything. You were always faster than me. <laughs> there, I said it. Nice try. I mean it. And did you mean it? <laughs> of course not. Faster than me. No, 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 no. She was never faster than me. She'd love that. No. Nah. But if there's one thing my old man taught me, it's that sometimes people need to hear what they need to hear. You know?